welcome back. Actually, you guys should be welcoming me back. It's been a couple of weeks, I know. I was actually inland for about a week, um, house sitting, and that weather completely dried out my skin. I need to be near ocean, near water. So now that my skin is finally getting back to normal, I wanted to show you guys an updated um, foundation routine using the beauty blender Doo -doo 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 -doo. using this guy ah, they're flying everywhere but um this one I obviously have been using so it's dirty but if you want to see how I did my foundation using the beauty blender then just keep on watching you can tell this side is done and this side is not done. I've had a major issue with my skin the past week. Um, I was actually in the valley where the air is so dry and it just made my face tweak out a little bit. This is definitely my updated foundation routine. I haven't done a foundation routine like the main focus since my very first video which was a year ago. Again I'm gonna be using this wonderful beauty blender. Um, the foundation that I'm going to be using is my MAC Studio Sculpt. And then I'm also going to be using um, Glamouflage by Hard Candy and Light for my concealer. As well as MAC's Studio Finish in NW25. So, here we go. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of my foundation on my hand. If any of it comes out. So, about that much. You don't want to squeeze out too much because if you don't end up using it, then it just goes to waste, especially if it comes in a little squeeze tube like that. What I'm going to do is take my beauty blender and dab that in and pretty much just stipple that on. And I was never a fan of like stippling because I have a very hard hand and I feel like I'm like punching myself. But with this beauty blender, it's like really the only way that you can get a seamless blend. And it's so amazing. And again, I'm avoiding the under eye area because that's where I do concealer. If you need to, it It'll be good to kind of spot conceal um, after your foundation is on so you only have to use a little bit of concealer. So I usually just spot conceal um, under my nose because I blow my nose a lot and I always get red like around the nostril area. And then I like to um, kind of set my liquid foundation with a powder. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. powder brush and my MAC Studio Fix and just do a light set and then on to the concealer which is my favorite part um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Glamouflage from Hard Candy and this stuff is really really thick and it's definitely like a full coverage concealer so a little bit goes a long way like even that is too much so I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes and see how like white that is. Um, it's super white. So I'm going to go in with my NW25 concealer um, from MAC, the Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm just going to go right on top of that. And I'm really just kind of applying it. I know you guys are going to hate this part because you're going to be like, oh my god, she wears so much makeup, she wears so much concealer. That's who I am. And then I'm going to take my wonderful beauty blender because this is not pretty. And I'm just going to dab that whole mess in. And look how like seamless that blend is. It's 
so amazing. I love this beauty blender. And then to set it, I'm going to use my Clinique Transparency Powder in Transparency 2. And I'm just going to dippy that in. Kind of tap off the excess a little bit. And set that concealer. So with this beauty blender, I feel like you don't have to put in a lot of work, like a lot of blending and stuff. All you have to do is pretty much just bounce that thing on your face and it does its job. I got this maybe like a week and a half ago and I haven't reached for my brush since. So I'm going to finish my face. Be right back. So the beauty blender, um, I actually got a few of them for my kit um, this has been the one that I've been using obviously since it's heavily soiled and dirty you first get the beauty blender it is this pretty tiny little hot pink egg and um, what you have to do is you have to soak it so pretty much run it under water and squeeze it a few times and when it's completely soaked, it gets big, like this. So it expands. Um, you don't want to use it soaking wet. You want to squeeze out the water, pretty much wring out the water, and then also um, wrap it in a like a towel and wring it again. And you just want to use it damp. When it's damp, it actually kind of prevents the actual sponge from soaking up all of your foundation. Um, I actually, I, I don't find that it soaks up pretty much any of my foundation. It applies it fairly well and evenly. So, um, honestly, I, I think this is the greatest invention ever and, um, I haven't used it on any of my clients yet and I'm really excited to. So you guys saw how it evenly blended my concealer into my foundation and it's just a nice kind of airbrush finish and it's the best thing ever i'll probably do a little mini tutorial in the future on how to clean it but there's several tutorials out there if you guys just want to look it up right now but um i got these off of sephora.com you can also get it off of the actual beauty blender website but I wanted to get it off of Sephora so I can get my Beauty Insider points. Anyways, um, I think that's it. See you guys next time. Bye!